Hey guys, uh, Dralcor here. I'm uh, just starting a run here and on my last lodging video about lodging preemptively um, to line up your run, there was some question about would I ever use lodge for mood? And typically I would say no, except for in one circumstance, which is super rare. Uh, well, it just popped up when I started this run here. Um, so I figured I'd get on here and show you so you can see when it would be proper to use the lodge for mood. Um, to reiterate, this is the only time I would ever use lodge for mood. Um, <clears throat> so I'm running a center fielder in Shining Angels and um, here's my lineup. Um, I do have some potential for mood down um, with Scumbag Joe. And this is week one training one's layout. Um, nobody um, matching up. I've got one trainer at every facility um, and that um, personal training there is, is not enough to sway me. So again, here, um, this is an appropriate and probably the only appropriate time to use Lodge for Mood. Um, this should set my week up right, so here we go. So now I get to start my whole training run with max mood. Um, it will get dropped here shortly, um, but the ones that come from trainers you can plan for, um, like the scumbag Joe one for example. Um, and now I'm getting a normal layout where I can go um, and plan for affinity and facility level up. I hope this guy's helped. Uh, guys, I hope this helped um, with how to use Lodge for mood. Um, if it did, like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.